in this lecture i would like to discuss about the second physical chemistry experiment belongs to the syllabus of first year bsc semester first the name of the experiment standardization of sodium hydroxide solution standardization of sodium hydroxide solution so what is the aim of this experiment to prepare 0.1 normal succinic acid and standardize the sodium hydroxide of two different concentrations to prepare 0.1 normal succinic acid and standardize the sodium hydroxide of two different concentrations so dear students in this experiment first of all we have to prepare the solution of succinic acid solution of succinic acid the concentration of succinic acid is 0.1 normal so first of all we have to weigh the quantity of the succinic acid that is required to prepare the solution of the succinic acid so on the balance we have to take the weight of the succinic acid and that quantity of the succinic acid should be dissolved in 100 ml water and we have to make the solution 100 ml and the normality of the solution it is 0.1 normal and we are going to standardize the sodium hydroxide of two different concentrations so in this experiment what are the requirement uh, of the experiment so let us uh, going to be discuss what are the requirements of this experiment so we require of course 0.1 normal succinic acid 0.1 normal succinic acid this is the first requirement because without 0.1 normal succinic acid we cannot standardize the sodium hydroxide solution and on the same time we also require the sodium hydroxide solutions of two different concentration so the two different concentrations can be used here the first concentration it is 0.08 normal and second concentration it is 0.1 normal of sodium hydroxide solution so suppose we have given these two concentrations these solutions are prepared now why we standardize the sodium hydroxide solution what is the reason to standardize the sodium hydroxide solution why it is necessary to standardize the sodium hydroxide solution and why it is standardized with 0.1 normal succinic acid a chemical readily available in pure form is primary standard generally those chemicals which are available in the pure form they are primary standard and it should not be hygroscopic that chemical should not be hygroscopic for example succinic acid it is available in the pure form it is not hygroscopic means it is not absorbing the moisture it is not absorbing the moisture or it is not converted easily to the liquid state so it should be not hydroscopic then that chemical that compound it is in the pure form and also that solution should be stable for some time for considerable time suppose if we prepared 0.1 normal of the succinic acid how to prepare the 0.1 normal of the succinic acid let us see to prepare 0.1 normal of the succinic acid 0.1 normal of the succinic acid succinic acid succinic acid it is a dibasic acid dibasic acid means it has two protons let us uh, draw here the structure of succinic acid 
it will be in this way succinic acid it is a dibasic acid so the structure of succinic acid can be represented in this way two carboxylic groups are there and it is having two protons so this succinic acid undergoes dissociation and there is a formation of there is a formation of this succinate anion formation of this succinate anion and it gives the two hydrogen ions so therefore it is a dibasic acid it 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 gives the two hydrogen ions so how to prepare the point one normal succinic acid we require 0.59 gram of succinic acid powder it is a in pure form and we have to dissolve this powder this compound this solid first of all in the minimum quantity of the water in the minimum quantity of the water in a beaker we have to take the distilled water and we have to add this quantity of the succinic acid and we have to shake the solution stir the solution and within a minute the succinic acid can be dissolved once it is dissolved then we have to take the 100 ml standard measuring flask 100 ml standard measuring flask because we have to prepare the point one normal of the succinic acid 100 ml so in this 100 ml measuring flask we have to add this solution okay we have to add this solution here and we have to add the water and it should be diluted up to the mark marking is given here then it becomes 100 ml so in this way we prepared point one normal succinic acid and this succinic acid it is a primary standard primary standard means it is having the exact normality it is having the accurate normality okay so therefore it is a primary standard on the same time we also require the sodium hydroxide solution that is a supplied solution to you point one normal sodium hydroxide solution now sodium hydroxide is not primary standard it is hygroscopic it absorb the moisture when we uh, open we, when we place the uh, sodium hydroxide solid in open place so it is hygroscopic so whatever the concentration of the succinic acid uh, concentration of sodium hydroxide is given here it is not exact concentration it is not accurate concentration therefore the sodium hydroxide solution it is a secondary standard the sodium hydroxide solution it is a secondary standard solution and we should have to be standardized this solution with succinic acid because it is already standard it is primary standard and sodium hydroxide solution it is a secondary standard so generally sodium hydroxide is having the normality 0.1 it is not accurate and it is not exact it is approximate normality therefore we have to find out the exact normality or accurate normality of the sodium hydroxide solution that's why it is titrated with succinic acid solution and the process it is called as standardization of sodium hydroxide with succinic acid standardization of sodium hydroxide with succinic acid so let us see here uh, we know that sodium hydroxide it is a hygroscopic and exact weighing is not uh, possible hence it is treated as a secondary standard so it can be standardized against a primary standard solution it can be standardized against a primary stand, uh, standardized solution so standardization reaction involves acid base reaction the reaction between 
सक्सेनिक एसिड एंड सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इट इज अ सिंपल एसिड बेस रिएक्शन इट इज गिवन इ रिएक्शन बिटवीन सक्सेनिक एसिड लेट अस राइट दैट रिएक्शन इयर इट इज ऑलरेडी गिवन इयर सक्सेनिक एसिड इट इज अ डायबेसिक एसिड सो वी हैव टू स्टैंडर्डाइज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सो टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड रिक्वायर एंड वी गेट हियर द रिएक्शन विल बी लाइक दिस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस सोडियम सक्सिनेट सोडियम सक्सिनेट दिस इज सोडियम सक्सिनेट एंड ऑन द सेम टाइम वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल इज ऑल्सो फॉर्म देयर टू वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स आर फॉर्म देयर सो दिस इज अ सिंपल एसिड बेस रिएक्शन एसिड रिएक्ट विथ बेस फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सॉल्ट एंड सॉलवेंट दिस इज अ न्यूट्रलाइजेशन रिएक्शन न्यूट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ एसिड टेक्स प्लेस बाय बेस formation of this salt and solvent so in this experiment this reaction is takes place so to perform this experiment we require succinic acid 0.1 normal it has been already prepared by us supplied sodium hydroxide the two concentrations are given that is 0.08 normal of sodium hydroxide and 0.1 normal of sodium hydroxide two concentrations are given here and we have to standardize the sodium hydroxide solution so let us see the first step standardization of 0.08 normal sodium hydroxide solution that is first concentration standardization of 0.08 remember that these solutions are supplied to you 0.08 normal sodium hydroxide solution it is supplied to you so we can perform this experiment fill the burette with supplied 0.08 normal sodium hydroxide solution pipette out 10 cm cube of 0.1 normal succinic acid solution in a conical flask and we have to add 2 3 drops of the 1% phenolphthalein indicator and shake it titrate it against the supplied sodium hydroxide solution from the burette and end point will be from colorless to pink so let us see the diagram here belongs to this experiment so this is the burette and in this burette we have to fill the nos solution that is 0.08 normal that is the first concentration first concentration it is 0.08 normal because we want to determine the exact concentration of this nos solution sodium hydroxide solution so first of all we have to fill the burette with sodium hydroxide solution in a conical flask we have to take the 10 cm cube of or 10 ml of 0.1 normal succinic acid 10 cm cube of 0.1 normal succinic acid solution okay and 2 3 drops of the phenolphthalein indicator and we have to perform the titration from the burette slowly we are adding the sodium hydroxide solution okay the end point it is we are adding the sodium hydroxide solution till the color is changes from colorless to pink permanent pink color should be obtained here in this conical flask permanent color pink color should be obtained here suppose that we are getting the reading around uh, 11 11.5 cm cube for this concentration 11.5 cm cube for this concentration then now we have to calculate the normality of this sodium hydroxide solution because we are standardizing this sodium hydroxide solution and we have to find out the exact normality of this so let us do the calculation so n1 v1 it is equal to n2 v2 using this uh, equation we can do the calculation part okay so on this side we have to take here acid sodium hydroxide and 
बेस यार एसिड सॉरी इट इज सक्सेनिक एसिड एंड बेस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सो व्हाट नॉर्मल सोल्यूशन वी हैव टेकन सक्सेनिक एसिड पॉइंट वन नॉर्मल व्हाट वॉल्यूम वी हैव टेकन टेन सी एम क्यूब ऑफ सक्सेनिक एसिड एन टू नॉर्मेलिटी ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एंड वी टू इट इज द ब्यूरेट रीडिंग वी टू इट इज द ब्यूरेट रीडिंग सो नॉर्मेलिटी ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इट इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन डिवाइडेड बाय ब्यूरेट रीडिंग दैट इज वी आर एडिंग द सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन इन टू दिस कॉनिकल फ्लास सो वट एवर द वॉल्यूम वी रिक्वायर हियर टू टू रिचेज द इन पॉइंट ऑफ द टाइट्रेशन देन दैट वॉल्यूम शुड बी इक्वल टू एलेवन पॉइंट फाइव हियर सपोज इट इज एलेवन पॉइंट फाइव सो वी हैव टू डू दिस कैलक्युलेशन एंड वी कैन फाइंड आउट द नॉर्मेलिटी ऑफ द सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन एक्जैक्ट नॉर्मेलिटी ओके नाउ द सेकंड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज गिवन हियर पॉइंट वन नॉर्मल पॉइंट वन नॉर्मल सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन दैट इज अ सेकंड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन पॉइंट वन नॉर्मल सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन सो वी हैव टू विद्रॉ दिस सोल्यूशन पॉइंट नॉट एट नॉर्मल सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम द ब्यूरेट वी हैव टू वॉश दिस कॉनिकल फ्लास्क then fill the burette with 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution then in this conical flask we have to take the once again 10 cm cube of 0.1 normal succinic acid solution and we have to repeat the same process just instead of taking 0.08 normal anyway solution we have to take here 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution we want to standardize this and by using the same equation we can Calculate the normality of the sodium hydroxide solution. Now, in this case, so the normality of the sodium hydroxide solution it is equal to point one. The equation is same here divided by ten. Only bureau trading is going to be changed. Suppose that bureau trading is one uh, ten here. So, normality of sodium hydroxide it is point one. So, whatever bureau trading we are getting here according to that, the concentration of the sodium hydroxide will be there so in this way we can standardize the sodium hydroxide solution okay so you can see this is the calculation part already explained by us n2 normality 0.1 into 10 divided by x a x or burette reading it is a normal this is for 0.08 normal sodium hydroxide solution and now for 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution b normal second reading it is y Okay, it is B normal, and in a result we have to write normality of supplied point not uh, eight normal sodium hydroxide solution. It is A, and for point one normal it is B. So this is the calculation part, very simple calculation. You can put here just the values. That is the exact normality of sodium hydroxide solution. So whenever we are using the sodium hydroxide as a titrant, as a burette solution. it is necessary that we have to standardize the sodium hydroxide solution because it is not pure solution it is a secondary standard solution it is hygroscopic solution so whatever the supplied solutions which are given to us that supplied solutions are not having the exact normality therefore we should have to standardize the sodium hydroxide solution by performing the process here okay so in this way we can determine the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution we can determine the exact normality of the sodium hydroxide solution